Hi, and welcome to Peaches and Fun. The rain bowl is shown here is your typical type of rainwater system. These systems uh, you could practically make from a 55 gallon drum or the, those container totes, the food grade ones, or you know, they're ready, very available at places such as Home Depot and Lowe's. But today I want to discuss a system where the water container is at a much higher elevation than the point of use. This setup allows gravity to do all the work to move the water throughout the system, eliminating the need for a water pump. So here I have a 33 gallon container on the roof of the tiny house. Now another alternative is you could also construct an elevated tower if you don't want to use the roof option. And uh, here for the plumbing, I have connected uh, scheduled 40 three, three quarter inch pipes from the water tank and there are several feet that runs along the perimeter of the greenhouse and from that point it runs on the ground into the greenhouse where it is connected to a, um, a hose bib valve so there's not an it's not connected to an irrigation system at this time but i can simply use connect the hose to get uh, some irrigation done to the pots individually so i've added water catchment capabilities so that i don't have to pump water um, at this elevation um, i do plan to replace this container uh, one one of the things i've done in terms of on top of this container i have some wire mesh so that prevents bugs and mosquitoes from getting into the container. So this is the cover. I just turn, it's turned upside down with a hole punched in it so that um, the water is channeled through the tank. And so this setup so far, um, it's worked pretty well um, so far. Now it's best to use a black or dark container so because if the sunlight gets into the the tank the algae will grow there causing some clogging over time so that is why you know a block i'm using a black container or a black painted one is best and this will allow for less cleaning so here um, this is what it looks like the end connection inside of the greenhouse this is what it looks like and basically as i mentioned i've just um, have the hose connected here so I tested it here last um, summer so this is the end result the pressure is not too bad and uh, so I will find ways and means to build and improve upon this but this this first setup or the, this is the first phase one where it's just testing to see the effectiveness and uh, what the pressure would look like and so forth so this is as I mentioned this is a start and it is just great in this area I do not have the main system of the water connected here and I did was not ready to run some actual um, additional plumbing so this was my best option um, at this time and perhaps maybe I will not need to add any plumbing up into this area from the main system. I would just enhance what I have here instead. So works pretty good. And uh, I will update you on the improvements that will be done in the upcoming year. So thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe to the Petersville Farm channel. Thank you.